Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm back. Had to take care of some adulting earlier in the day. And now that I'm a little little more free, uh, I've ate dinner and all that, so we should be good now. Uh, I'm going to get back on Final Fantasy for a little bit. Um, I can't stay on that long. I say that and I'm probably going to spend two hours again without even really realizing it. <laughs> no, but uh, I do need to get to bed kind of at a reasonable hour tonight because I do have a double. I have a 14 hour, excuse me, uh, a 14 hour double tomorrow at work. So, yeah. And it's only six, so it's not like, you know, I have to be in bed at like 830 or some shit, you know. But it probably is about the time I will end. Unless something happens. I'm trying to get the uh, game to boot up. If, uh, if it will. Oh, connecting Steam account, of course. Uh, magic booster. What is magic booster? Oh. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to do it. Boost of magic. I don't know what that did, but that did something. I don't like when it does that. Because it fucks up OBS. It gives me the encoding overloaded thing. Which it never does that anymore. But it does it every time I, like, even accidentally tab out. I don't like that. Uh, continue. I guess. So what did that do? What did the magic booster actually do? No, wait, no. Actually, it would be magic one. Oh! That's what I did. Oh. Well, I just fucking cheated. <laughs> Welp. Didn't expect that. Well, hell, at this point, I might as well fucking just go all in. Uh, yeah, we'll give... Him siren. Yeah. I don't actually know. I don't think anybody knows. Yeah, they don't know anything yet. Okay. Go graduate. Oh. I forgot to get changed for the party. Hot hay! Sorry. Gotta say it like that. Man, what? How rude. Squall's a rude son of a bitch at this point of the game. He's actually a rude son of a bitch for like the first half of the game. It's not until like disc three till he actually grows a personality. <laughs> Just remember something. G gotta go. Yeah, okay. As if I have a choice. No, you'd think he'd still keep the bandage on his face. Because technically, 
He just got that scar today. <laughs> this is still like the first day the game takes place in. And just that morning, he got sliced across the face. It's just big gaping fucking wound right there across his face. Okay, maybe not gaping wound, but still definitely a fresh ass cut. Right between the eyes. No stitches, no nothing, just, just there. Like he's got the bandages on up until I think the fire cavern. And once you switch, once you come back from the fire cavern is when the bandages kind of disappear. Because then realistically, he's really only been wearing those bandages for like 20 minutes. Is this what they call one of them meat cutes? <laughs> Smooth. Oh, but now we can dance. Excuse me, oh my gosh. Yeah, I wish I could make this go a little faster. I've been spoiled by the uh, remastered version's uh, speed up and the button that you can press to just give everyone limit break. Give you an order. Uh oh. Secret area. Uh oh. Make out point. Just in case. Like, I don't think anything's gonna happen, but just in case. Uh, I should probably also... Should be on the safe side. I just suddenly have 2,000 HP. I regret doing the magic booster now. I didn't realize it did that. <laughs> Is 
isn't the training center on this side? I think it is. Yeah. I think this is it. Yeah. T-Rex are. Okay, so there's a... There's an enemy I'm not keen on <laughs> facing. I, do, I don't really want to do this. But yeah, T-Rex is one of the few enemies in the game that no matter where you face it, I think it's always level 100, depending, like, it doesn't even matter what level you are. Like, we're level 9. And those things, no matter where you face it, I think they're always level 100. I think that's the case. Either way, they're like one of the strongest uh, early game enemies. And even like later games too. Like later game still kind of struggles with that. Uh, junction, that's what I want. Okay. Mm Oh. We'll give her Siren then. And just give her magic. I think all Siren even does anyway, it, it doesn't actually do any physical attacks. I think it just like blinds or silences or does some kind of status effect. Look his ass up. How the fuck do I have 2000 HP though? Is it just like the 100 fires that I have? Or cures or whatever it is, I've got junction HP. Is that it? That's got to be it. One down. Yeah, I like that she put shit to sleep. That's cool. All right, cool. Does she know? Oh. Mm, ooh, that would be nice. I think I'm gonna go for that. Because that will let me to take my cures and turn them into curas. Put this on vitality. Well, elemental attack is... That would take way too long. That, to get to 160 would probably take me to the end of disc one. Oh, 
spirit mode. Oh, vitality would be nice. I'll just do that. How are we looking here? Almost halfway. HP junction would be cool though, but I'm gonna wait until after I get that. Alright. Come up here, get this draw point, whatever it is. Blizzard. I guess I have a hundred blizzards. Okay. Oh, this fucking thing. Okay. I'm not going to. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say fuck all this and run. Hawk. How's it going? All right. Yep. Yeah, I just fucking look. The encounter rate on this game makes me want want to slap my dead grandmother. This shit is so annoying. Every time I think, hey, I kind of want to play this game. Take two steps in the overworld, suddenly fucking battle. Oh, you gonna put me to sleep? Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Um. You gonna pimp smack me with one of your, uh... I don't even know what the fuck you got. Leaf? Tentacles? Is that a leaf? I don't fucking know what that's supposed to be. Alright, so... Huh. Do silence? Silencio! Ow. 71. I have all the fucking hit points, but none of the attack. about wanting to slap my dead grandmother? This shit is fucking ridiculous. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. <sighs> Finally. A make out point. just like just stared okay never mind I was about to say like have you ever just like stared off into the distance long awkward silence with someone don't know what the fuck to say but you clearly like somebody wants somebody to say something but you don't know what to say so it's kind of like a Mexican standoff so you're like oh who's gonna say something you say something first I say something first how's it going how's this gonna play out Especially when you're here all alone with a vaguely attractive polygonal girl in the game's fictional makeout point.
Um, I'm like pressing all the buttons. This is not going any faster. Leadership qualities, okay. I don't know, you'd think the person carrying a whip would have great leadership qualities. She could get anyone to follow her lead, but I guess not. Are you listening? Oh, guess not. Are you done? Oh, dick move. Yeah, this dude is a dick. He spends like the whole first half of the game, the first two discs, just completely just dismissive and just, yeah. Kind of reminds me of me. <laughs> Especially when I was a moody teenager like this prick. Of course, I have a, a slightly more refined view of the world in the uh, 15 years since I was a moody teenager. Fuck, oh, that really was 15 years ago, wasn't it? Shit. Oh, great. Okay, so I'm going to save just so in case I die. I don't have to sit through that shit again. Actually, no, I want to go the other way. How is life? Oh, it's same bullshit, different day. Today's my last day off for a little while. Got five days on next week, and then three days off next week. That I know of. Yeah, I'm one of those people that whose whole life just really just revolves around their work schedule and around. It's sad. But yeah, how you been? I gotta take all mine out too at some point. Two of my wisdom teeth, the two bottom ones are uh, broken. Which is pleasant, to say the least. I have to be careful how I chew. Because it's still very much like if, if you bite at the wrong angle or if like something gets in there, the exposed nerve. Fuck. But I've needed to go to a, I've needed to go to a dis, dentist for like four years now, and I just can't afford it. Way expensive! Holy shit! Just to get one tooth fixed back in 2016 set me back four hundred dollars, and that was one tooth. hate him. <laughs> hey, man. Nice job. That was my half-assed impression of the arcade dude.
Also, can I just say I absolutely love this boss theme? I'd go as far as to call it better than Final Fantasy VII's boss music, and that one has some great boss music. Don't hit, don't hit that. Hit this one down here. Really? Oh, here we go. I get rid of these three down here. While that one's asleep, I don't think it's gonna be able to do much. Her, hit that thing, put it back to sleep. No, seriously. Oh. I'm a dipshit. Oh no, it's not asleep. What? Can I not put it back to sleep? No. Man, if uh, Lido was here, he'd make a CM Punk or a, a Kenta reference with the GTS. I'd say go in there and hit the GTFTS, and that's the go the fuck to sleep for those who are acronymically illiterate. Motherfucker just punted the motherfucker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where did that? Oh, right, I forgot. Magic beast. <laughs> Whoops. Uh. Okay. Oh, yeah, fucking hit that thing. Oh, yeah. Imagine if one's weak to something, all three of them are. Let's play the next one. That's like your numbers, okay? So, no weakness. That was a waste of a good fucking stand. Okay. about overkill.
Supercross. I D G A F no more. This is one of those plot threads that didn't make sense to me until like my third or fourth playthrough, full playthrough, where I like understood all the uh, tiny little plot threads and stuff. She's someone that doesn't actually become important. Oh, actually, you see her in the very first cutscene, really. I'm not talking about the intro cinematic, I mean like when you first uh, boot up the game and you're in the uh, doctor's office. Of course, you don't know who she is until, like, what, disc three? Way late into the game. So at this point, I don't have a choice. I just have to go to bed. I can't go anywhere else, like... The game's not going to let me to go anywhere else. Sleep, then mission. Oh yeah, I was at makeout point with the instructor. <laughs> yeah. Weapons monthly. Okay, so this one. So you get like these monthly magazines that you can find throughout the game world. And what they do is they give you the like the ingredients to be able to upgrade your weapons. And if you don't find the weapons monthlies, you're not going to be able to uh, upgrade your stuff as easily. and save. Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of different magazines throughout the world. There's Temper Maniacs, which I don't think actually do anything. Like, I don't think reading the Temper Maniacs actually does something. I could be wrong. Yeah, like there's the Weapons Monthly, which upgrades your weapons. There's the uh, Occult Fan, which uh, gives one of the characters, I forget who it is, Limit Breaks. Pet Pals, which is another Limit Break one for uh, the dog. What am I doing? I just saved. Good. Uh, out here. And a lot of the items, if you miss it the first time around, it could be a while before, or sometimes even never before you can, you know, get an opportunity to get that item back. Wish I had a T-board. else just like no
Is the Diablo fight now? I wish. I'd get killed so dead. I'll probably do that like before the end of this one or something. I usually wait until I get like Carbuncle or something. Uh, not anything good, do I? Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, I was about to say, I forgot about the. This thing. Okay. Actually, part of me is kind of reckless and wants to see what happens if I do this fight now. The only thing I remember the last time I tried this was I died in like two minutes. <laughs> it was bad. I'm gonna regret this. I forgot that the Steam version has the magic booster, and I clicked it, completely forgetting that it just gives you all the magic. So, yeah, that, that's what that's about. Uh... Oh, this dude doesn't have... Do I have a scan? I do. On the end. Come on, give me the end. Oh my luck, I'm just gonna go right over it. Seven two hundred cheap. Come on the end. How am I gonna have this luck, am I? I know if I do it, like, quickly, I'm just gonna go right over it. That has happened before. Oh, shit. Um, full cure, full cure, where is it, where is it, where is it? There it is. Oh, nice and slow, yeah. Two things I'm not sure I actually have. I might have one.
Yeah, don't worry about it. I have a filthy fucking mouth here, it's cool. Uh, try that again. What if I actually beat this dude on the first try? What if that actually happens? I'm not prepared for it. Not expect a win. I'm gonna save. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what this means. I'm gonna go ahead and junction squall. Yeah, boys. Uh, I don't care that much about that. Um, what I will do, because this will get on my nerves if I keep this up. Uh, encounter half. Yeah. Because the encounter rate on this game is way too damn hard. Way too damn frequent. Okay. We're good. Go ahead. Get this way. Nice. If I remembered the uh, exam answers, I would just do that. Easy rank A or something. Yeah, encounter full, right. Oh yeah, I forget about that. Three thousand. Well at least I just got paid. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mentioned it earlier when I did the training center about the T-Rex that I think it... Is the T-Rex always level 100? No matter where in the game you are. I know there are some exceptions. Like some scale, some don't. Some are level 1 no matter where you are, some are level 100 no matter where you are. Go ahead and sip this. I'm going to go ahead and take a very quick break. Get up, walk around, and stretch. Not quite at the hour mark, but might as well. After that boss fight, I think I uh, could use a cigarette. <laughs> but yeah, don't go away. I'll be right back in just about five minutes. Enjoy the tune.
All right, I'm back. Thanks for waiting up. I'm gonna let my puppy out real quick. Got myself a drink. Beer number two. Of course, I can't have too much to drink tonight because I do have a 14 hour double tomorrow at work and I don't want to have to go in with a <laughs> hangover, which I hate to say has happened once. Never again. Oh, but yeah, um, if anybody is interested, next Wednesday, the 23rd, doing a Sonic Marathon. I do this every year on the 23rd, since it's the anniversary of the game, uh, the first game. Uh, this year happens to be the 30th anniversary, so I thought, fuck it, I'm going to go a little bit further than I normally do most years. Most years, I just do Sonic 1, 2, and 3. Um, this time, I'm going to do Sonic 1, 2, CD, 3, and K, and Mania in one go. Uh, cause I for sure have that day off. So, we're good to go there. And that is next Wednesday. It'll probably be an all-day thing. I don't have a start time yet. I won't know that until I get there. That's the plan. Go ahead and throw that back up. And do this. Get the game back up. Alright. Oh, wait, what's his... 30. Shit. Um. Wait, do I have a tent? I do. I'm gonna save again. This calls. Ooh, alright. I love this part that's coming up. Whoa! Zell, I just picture with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog's voice. Awesome! Way past cool! You know, shit such as that. Because he really is just the embodiment of 90s attitude. What was cool back then. Pals. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that magazine helps with uh, one of the characters' limit breaks. You think about timber? I don't care. <laughs> All right. Eighteen years ago, so. Coincidentally, around the time they were born. I just can't take Zell seriously because of the Mike Tyson tattoo. Mr. Know-it-all Zell. I don't know if I never noticed Zell has, like, no calf muscles at all. Uh-oh. Roof gas. This song right here. So good.
Yeah, let's stock up on some more stand. Um. I'm just gonna get a couple rounds of scans. I'm not gonna like spend the whole fight doing this. Alright, that should be enough. I know Laguna didn't get any of those, but it's fine. I just want to know what kind of psychedelics these developers were on when they designed these creatures. I thought they were getting the... Alright. Oh, woke him up. Nope, never mind. Shit. Oh. Okay, he's up. can't be the only one that's ever fantasized about just throwing a giant harpoon at somebody. Just me? Oh. I guess none of the draw points are going to work now, because I have a hundred of everything. Like it was nothing. Struggled so hard with that last fight, this one was nothing. Cut through him like it was butter. that, uh, <laughs> so they're just, like, ditching their post here? Is this even their post? Chill, man, it's cool. I love that this is how they, uh... Kind of, like, explain how you can't exactly, like, roam around this place. Because then parking in the street causes a traffic jam. <laughs> Which closes off parts of the city that you're not supposed to reach yet.
Going all out. Yep. Strolling and controlling. Fucking night of drunken debauchery or some shit. Hey, girl. Okay, so fun fact, 10 years ago, well, not quite, it'll be 10 years later this year, I actually did a cover on the piano of this. Uh, I might actually have that recording somewhere. I don't have it handy. I have to like dig through it and stuff. I'm not going to like stop what I'm doing to find this one obscure file from 10 years ago, but it did happen. It wasn't perfect, but I got it as close as I could, you know, just from listening to it. And I don't claim to be one of those people that can like listen to things and be able to play them perfectly. I don't really have that gift. But I did do that a couple of times. What, Squall? You've never uh, had an imaginary land cramp around a, a beautiful woman you've had a crush on before? That actually would be a pretty funny character trait for him to have passed on to Squall. <laughs> that would have been funny. Minus three on the manliness scale. Yeah. That's about right. Everyone's listening in. Yeah, every fucking body. Talk to these guys. What, are, what have they got to say? Julia chose you. Uh oh. Oh, he's drunk. Sophisticated conversation? Oh, yeah, that's my middle name. Manic Manny Sophisticated Conversation Professor. What have you got to say? Send you off to war a million miles. Yeah. Good luck with that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, whenever you're talking to somebody who's like clearly nervous, the last thing you want to say to this person is uh, talking about plucking and eating their eyes. So, you know, just... Future reference, uh, homegirl. Maybe don't do that. way past cool. Never mind. Old message. Don't you love it whenever your phone decides to, like, finally update and alert you about a message that you received, like, three hours ago? It's like, oh yeah, fine. Oh, by the way, you got this. And I'm like, dude, I already, like, read and responded to that hours ago. Come on. I want to say the same thing to those, uh, YouTube, uh, notifications. Like I'll get, I'll get like a random notification two days after watching the video. Like, hey, have you seen this? Wasn't nice though. Come on, you dreamt you were a moron. You were a moron in a foxy lady's hotel room, homie. That's another running gag in this game, if you can call it a running gag. Where he's like, oh my god, I gotta report all this to the headmaster, and he finally gets a chance to report it to the headmaster, and headmaster's like, oh dude, don't, don't, don't report nothing. I pretty much got the gist of it. <laughs>
But the Moogles are still there. Hey, buddy. Oh, That's a dog. really doesn't do handshakes, does he? Bowel syndrome zone, act one. What? Uh, no, I'm not gonna save yet. I'm gonna wait. Hey, look, it's ballroom girl. Ballroom girl and schoolboy. <laughs> uh, had to. Shakes her hand, but nobody else's. Doggo! Yeah, so this is what the Pet Pals is for, the Pet Pals uh, magazine that you can collect. Has to do with this limit breaker right here. You learn different, you know, abilities.
I just like back out of this? I can. Okay, cool. Can I pet the dog in Final Fantasy VIII? I don't know if I want to keep... Well, I kind of do, but I kind of don't at the same time because the part that's coming up here gets on my nerves. the info, sir. Super VIP. My damn selfie, chill. Selfie has no chill. She's the one that's like, peace and love, but she's also like, blow the shit up! I don't remember the sensors ever being a problem. And I've done this a bunch of times. Like the whole stop and run, depending on who's blade. I don't remember that ever being a thing. Or, you know, a thing that you can actually, like, lose from. Let's hope this is mapped out correctly. Three, one, two, four. All right. I don't know what B three, B two. I don't know what that is. All right. Hold up. Can we? Yeah. Yeah. Let's practice. B three, one, three. Hey. All 
All right, it works. Ah, what's B5? Okay, I guess that's B5. Just trashing on the thing. <laughs> Explain it again. idea between like you're not supposed to like just stand in front of the guy with the temperature sensor like look at it Simple enough. Gotta feel bad for this guy.
Come quick. Three, two, two, three. All right. Hurry! Fuck back up! Woo! All right. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up! Shit! Mistakes were made. I'm gonna wait. I mean, as you can see, though, like, the more you screw up, the more time they give you. about this. What is that? Mm. I'm going to save up here first. Not the same word. The same word. Oh my god, I can't talk. Oh my god. <laughs>
This scene always scared the fuck out of me as a kid. There's something unsettling about this. The trick to this, it's undead. Throw a phoenix down, kills it instantly. Easiest boss fight in the whole game. Nice, nice, nice. Hell yeah, we're good then. Just a moment. All right, I gotta step away for just a minute. I'm gonna throw the uh, BRB screen up. Just a second. It's not going to take long at all. I just got to step away for a sec. One moment. grab something real quick <laughs> everybody love and peace she's the same person that just like suggested blowing the fucking president's train to smithereens <laughs> hmm. 
gosh, I can go for a nap right now. Temper achieves independence. Okay, so that's pretty vague. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying, super vague. Why would you word it like that? IBS Zone Act 1. Well, actually, at this point, it would be Act 2, wouldn't it? You do not want to know what comes at the end of Act 3. I'm gonna save one last time here. Be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. That's right. You do that. This might be the only reasonable person in the entire military. Timber Maniacs. Or not, you know.
that's it. Okay. Oh, we're almost at encounter half. that the person with the most health has the weakest fucking attack. Even with like the crit on. The gun blade crit. Counter half on, I take two fucking steps right into a fight. Fuck. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I'm not bitter. No. What gives you that idea? There's a shop right... You can just kiss your hiney? Hold on. Uh, stop here for a sec. Oh, I have no money. Oh, well, that has something to do with it. Mm. Whatever. At least I have money.
mean, yeah, it kind of is. I mean, it's kind of a contract, you know? Go over the contract again. Party A, party B, party C, you know? Contract, Emperor's Independence. Something to say, just say it. Forget it. An order from your client. Uh oh, this can only go over well. Oh shit! No, nope. don't want to quit. Super ethereal, you guys. Super ethereal. They got the looks of the uh, PA's spot on, though. Hell, the announcer looks more like the president than the president does. I only give the best speeches. It can't be a coincidence he looks like Nixon. Have permission. All you got to say. I love that the implication here is that the president. And everyone had to go through that one shady ass pub just to get to this station. Unless there's a, a secret back door that nobody else knows about. He 
done let it slip. Yep. Dumbass Zell. Zell is the Fuku boy of Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Sorry, my uh, headset got unplugged. Don't want to be a boy anymore? Dude, you're like 17. You're totally a boy. It's funny. Whenever you're like 17 yourself, you think, Oh, I'm a man. I'm a big, strong man. But then you get to be like my age and you look back on 17-year-olds and you're like, Holy fuck, you're a fucking child. That's where I'm at. What's up, dude? stream yeah um they can be definitely can be especially if you do what he does like the cooking streams and stuff like that i imagine i've never done a cooking stream myself but i imagine it takes a lot of time just to set that up not to mention how much time it takes to prep all the uh food and very quickly take a very quick, like as brief of a break as I can. Just need to stop to the uh, restroom real quick. Come back and we'll do a little bit more. BRP.
I gotta uh, disable the full screen thing on this because this is really like causing more problems than it's worth. Every time I tab out and come back, it always, like I always start dropping frames and stuff like that. payday here like soon. Count yourself as being a resistance member if you're not active as a resistance member. Cooking and beauty. Huh. Trying to kidnap the president. Wow, callous. What is Zell doing in that corner? Is this the designated peak corner? Everybody knows if you're stranded somewhere, you got to have a designated peak corner. There's a plan? Actually, bought him his selfie. 
Oh, fuck it was. Uh, switch. No, hey. Okay, we're good. We're good. Good. Hey, hey. Look at us. We're good. You're not actually an old man. You don't have to act like one. Irritable Bow Zone Act 3. Hee hee. He's into naughty magazines, good to know. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, yeah, okay. They put. Or, you know, leave him alone. I guess they're both not the same thing.
Okay. Save. Honestly, y'all, I think that's gonna be it for me. For tonight. Time for me to think about getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> I got a 14 hour work shift ahead of me tomorrow. As it, you know, as that happens. It is live. You're live, boy. Okay. Well, we're gonna raid our good friend Sealith. Playing that Apex. Have a good one, y'all. Um, no stream tomorrow. And probably not one on Thursday either. We'll see there. Honestly, I have no idea when the next stream will be. I just kind of have to play it by ear. But definitely not tomorrow. Definitely not. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and read seal it. Have a good one. See you next time. Peace out.